Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Six Sigma by MB Mohit Sharma. In today's video, I will talk about a complete IT case study. This is a requested video. And in this video, I will talk about how to implement DMAC methodology in resolving IT issues. Let us understand this with the help of an example. In an hospital in a metro city, management took a 3-5 to five years goal of reducing the IT cost by 20%. For that, they set up a team of quality professionals to identify the opportunity areas. The first step that the team performed was to understand the company's objectives and drill down those objectives to identify the project goal. The goal of the organization is to reduce the expenses of the IT department, so cost reduction in SQL servers was considered as a project goal. Team studied data over the last 12 months and observed that the cost of database support and maintenance is huge and that was to the tune of 2.5 million per annum. So the team took a goal to reduce the server footprint by 40% by reducing the server count from 250 to 150 by June 19. This was a stringent task and they have to do a lot of data analysis and study before removing any server. I have a separate video on project charter. You can refer that on my channel. I will also put the links in the description box below for your reference. There were a number of cross-functional teams involved during this project and to get everybody on the same page in terms of process understanding, we created high-level SciPoc. Check out my channel for an exclusive video on SciPoc. In order to make every stakeholder understand their roles and responsibilities in each of the phases of this project, team used Army Chart, where A stands for Approver, R stands for Resource, M stands for Member, and I stands for Informed. Sponsor, champion and mentor are generally the approvers in each phase of the project. SMEs are the resources and senior stakeholders are generally informed about the progress of the project in each phase. M is the member of the project which helps in data collection, brainstorming and implementing the ideas. Team also wanted to complete the project in a defined time so they created communication plan and followed it. The team moved to the major phase where in the first step, the team identified all the potential causes. All the team members got inside the meeting room and discussed the potential causes, also known as axes. On some of the axes, team could collect data and they are marked as data door axes. And rest of them were studied through the process door approach. Team also created a data collection plan in which they identified the operational definitions for all the data door axes. Next, the team moved to the analyze phase and the first step is to check the process capability. The sigma value was at 3.01 sigma. We can use this formula in the Excel sheet to check process capability. It is norm sine b 1 minus defects upon total opportunities plus 1.5. Then the team tested all the potential axes with the help of chi-square test. Wherever the p-value was less than 0.05, team considered that x as statistically significant x. Wherever the DB count on a server was less than 10, it was considered as a defect and further analysis should be done to identify a possible solution. Let me show you the Minitab working for the same. I am using Minitab 19 for chi-square test. The first step is to go to stat, tables and chi-square test for association. Now select summarize data in two-way table and select defect and no defect in the columns containing the table. Also, select DB count in the rows and click OK. The session window of Minitab shows the result. P-value of less than 0.05 suggests that it is a significant X. I am not showing you all the analysis done for all the potential Xs because only chi-square test is done for all of them. Next, the team used nominal group technique to prioritize the process door Xs. This is a summary of the analyze phase where all the significant Xs are highlighted both through data door and process door. Next, the team moved to the improve phase and they used 5Y analysis to identify the actionable solution to the significant axis. I am only highlighting the DB count less than 10 as a significant X here. The actionable solution to this X was to move the databases to a shared server and free some of the servers where database count was less than 10. Before implementing the solutions, team prioritized them with ease and impact metric. All the solutions which were easy to implement and had high impact are prioritized and implemented first. Before implementing the solution, team did detailed failure mode and effect analysis. 
wherever the RPM score was less than 100, they created a mitigation plan. And once the RPM score was less than 100, they implemented the solutions. So this is a very important step. An exclusive video on FME can be seen on my channel. 4W1H is used to create the implementation plan. I am only highlighting the creation of shared servers as an example. As the team moved into the control phase, they created a detailed control plan to ensure that the process is in control. In control plan, it is mentioned in detail that what is to be implemented, where to implement, who will do that and by when. Similarly, the process to implement the control with frequency and approval is also provided. In the end, after implementing all the solutions, process capability is also checked and it has improved from 3.01 Sigma to 3.57 Sigma. After implementing all the solutions, in the end, the project has generated an impact of $250K. I hope you would have got an idea how to implement DMAC methodology in IT projects. Friends, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.